Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pixel, and in today's video, we are going to be starting a brand new series here on my channel. We are going to be starting a beginner scripting guide. The series will focus on all the basics of scripting, and eventually we will go into the advanced scripting when the time comes. Before we begin, I just wanted to remind you all that I do have a Discord server. If you are not familiar with Discord, I really do recommend checking it out. It's basically a place for people to chat, but it isn't public. You can only chat with people on a server, and you need an invite link to join servers. People can't just join random servers, and servers can be created for free. I have created a server, a place for new developers to share their creations, talk amongst others, and work out any scripting errors. There will be a link invite in the description, so make sure you check that out. Also, a reminder, I do not recommend skimming through the video. I talk about a lot of important information, and it's only for a brief moment, so skimming might lead to you missing important information. Think of this as a classroom. You are learning, and I am teaching. I am providing a way to ask questions, which is my Discord server, so make sure you are willing to spend the time to watch the entire tutorial. I do try and make my tutorials quite short, but some tutorials might require more time. Alright, let's hop into the video. Today's video is one of the most important tutorials of the entire series. I'm going to give a brief introduction to Roblox Studio. Roblox Studio is a tool that allows developers to create games. It's free and it was created by Roblox. If you don't have Roblox Studio on your computer, go to the Roblox website. As you can see, we're here on the Roblox website. And to get to this page that I'm on now, you're gonna hit the Create tab here at the top. If you scroll down on the left, you should see under Developer Resources, a button titled Studio. After you click on this button, it'll immediately start downloading the Roblox Studio software. I want to also give another disclaimer. If you're not even comfortable with using a PC, Learning how to code and keeping up might be difficult. Not only did I start learning after I had already been using computers for a couple of years, but I was already familiar with game creation tools. You don't need to have had experience in other programs similar to Roblox Studio, but knowing your way around your computer as well as basic shortcuts will make the series easy for you. I do recommend giving it a shot, but I won't explain every little thing. Now let's get back to the tutorial. After you have installed Roblox Studio, go ahead and open up. It should be on your desktop, and I do recommend placing it on your taskbar for ease of access throughout this series. As you can see, mine is on my taskbar. After opening it up, it will appear on your taskbar, and if you right-click it, you can just hit Pin to Taskbar if you did not know that. After you open it up, you'll see this. These are templates. If you'd like to experiment with these templates, go right ahead, but after you watch this tutorial. For today's tutorial, we are going to be opening up a base plate, which is the first option you will see. If you go ahead and click on it, give it a second and it'll load up. Roblox Studio does not require a beefy computer at all. Any laptop or computer can run it fine. Although large quantity of parts may cause lag and loading times will be longer. Now that we have this open up, we can open our two main windows that we will be using. At the top, click on the View tab. We're going to be using these two things right here, so go ahead and click on them to open them up. This is the Explorer and Properties tab. The Explorer window contains all the things that are a part of your game. We won't be going over all of them today, we will be only working with the workspace today. In the Properties tab, you can view and change the properties of anything you have selected. Some things have a lot of properties, while others don't. The controls of Roblox Studio are simple. You can use the WASD keys to move your camera. Holding the right mouse button click down and moving your mouse can also rotate the camera. Now that we have that down, we can proceed. Make sure that your camera is close to the base plate because we are going to be inserting a part. Go over to the Model tab and go ahead and click on the Part button. It's going to spawn on your base plate. Make sure that you move to it. As you can see, we can edit the properties of our bricks in the Properties window. You can also select the part from the Camera View or the Explorer tab. As you can see, if I go ahead and click in the Game View, it allows me to select the part, but I can also select it in the Explorer window. 
all objects that are in the game view, anything that's visible will be in the workspace. If you want to explore with any of the buttons you see here, go ahead. There are many tools that you can use, but the main tools for building are the select, move, scale, and rotate tools. With the select tool, you obviously can select parts, but also click and drag them around the world. With the move part, arrows will appear all around the part, and click on one and dragging it in a direction will move the part. The scale tool allows you to resize the part. It scales by unit. The unit on Roblox is a stud. Currently, it should be set to one stud. Experiment with it and find one you like. The rotate tool obviously allows you to rotate the part. You can also change the increment it rotates by by using this up here. Higher numbers will change the snap. So as you can see, there's these little bars that you can see, and that's what it snaps to. If you set it to 100, there will only be a couple bars to go to. We're just going to set that back to 15. If you're wondering why my part is turning opaque and yours is not, it's because I have turned off collisions. Collisions make it so that when you use the move, scale, or rotate tool, it will or will not collide with another object. The collisions button is up here at the top and near the transform button. The transform button is basically all of these tools combined. I recommend not using it though. It's not really helpful in my opinion. I'm just used to the regular tools. If I turn the collisions on, which a little black box will appear around it, it's kind of hard to see, and I move my part, they will collide with each other. Depending on how long your part is, it might just teleport to the other side after you get close enough. And that also goes for resizing and rotating. Just let me just... I wouldn't be able... It would, it would skip a few here. Actually, it wouldn't even rotate because the floor is in the way. So I, I won't be able to rotate it this way. But if I turn it off, it'll allow me to rotate. You may be a little confused on why this would be helpful, but it's honestly not really necessary to have it on in the first place anyways. If you use your increments correctly, keeping them the same, then you shouldn't have any issues with your building. So I recommend leaving it off. You can decide for yourself though. That concludes basically the introduction to Roblox Studio. Like I said, there are many other things that you can experiment with. I recommend going and experimenting with the properties of objects. Try inserting different objects and also try to add effects to objects. I know this video was quite short, but those are the main things that we're going to be using for this series. Obviously besides the scripts, which I will show you all that crazy in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome scripting content. As always, keep on scripting.